Howdy. So today let's go over virtual machine extensions. So we've gone over CloudInit and what that can do. So now let's let's move on to extensions. So what are virtual machines ex extensions? Uh, basically, they they are things that can allow you to run different tasks or operations after a virtual machine has been created. And these these can be really good. That so maybe you want to like update all packages after the machine's been updated, um, or maybe you want to you know create users automatically once the machine is created, or different things like that. Um, and, and maybe if uh, certain things, if you use um, you know maybe your the the image you use doesn't support cloud in it which can also provision servers, you can use VM extensions to, to do some of those tasks as well. So, so let's, let's just dive right in. Let's create a new virtual machine. Let's just create some basics here. Let's just do um, uh, extension example. We'll keep everything default. Uh, we'll do SSH as well. What's my screen resolution at? All right. Perfect. All right, we'll keep those defaults. Let's go. We'll keep a basic uh, networking. We'll just keep some basics here. Um, let's go here. And perfect. So now, now we're here. So we've got extensions here that we can do. So let's select an extension and install. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create an extension, and all we're going to do is, you know, we're going to we're going to create a file on the server, and we can verify that as well. So there's a few different things you can go over or or that you can use, and you can you can kind of, you know, go through these yourselves. Agent monitoring for Linux, um, different things you can do, and then as you look you can kind of get some information about them um, some of these are third party choose up so you can kind of look and see what you need but for the most part what I want to use here is custom script for Linux because maybe your your um, the image you use does not support cloud in it which if you create a custom image it does not so we need to be able to like you know run some commands after this virtual machine gets gets set up so we can we can use a custom script for this all right so you read up on there but just need to create and then what it needs is it needs a file so all this all this is is a bash file you know just a bash script um, so that, that's all you really need to do so let's let's create that now or I've, I've got one created so Azure shell so let's see what's inside this. Um, actually, we don't want to do that. So let's let's actually change that. So all we want to do is just um, create a file. So let's just do touch. Touch will if you're not familiar with touch, touch will just create a file. Let's do touch and do your bin bash up there. Um, touch. Let's just do um, var foo dot txt. So now, after this virtual machine gets gets set up, it's going to add a file, an, an empty file of foo.txt in the var directory. So let's save that. So right now, we just have that file locally. So to actually do this, we actually have to have this file inside of Azure. So when we go to browse here, we're actually not browsing our local system. We're actually browsing Azure storage accounts. Um, so an Azure storage account just allows you to store like a bunch of files. You can kind of think of it similar to like a Dropbox, maybe. Um, so basically, what we need to do is we need to get our our this file that we just created into a storage account. So I'm not going to go over all the things about storage accounts because that'll be a later video. But for now, let's just create some create the basics. So let's create a storage account. Um, let's just name it, you know, will example. 
Um, and this this is actually unique. This has to be unique. You can think of it as like a domain name. So if somebody else in the world had this exact name, it wouldn't work. So if I just did will, it probably won't work. So you can see the storage account name will is already used because this isn't for this isn't yours. This is actually um, worldwide. So we'll just leave the defaults. And this might take a second to create. All right, so our storage account is created now. Will example. So now we have to create a container, which is kind of like another folder inside of your, your storage account. We'll just name this foo. And we're gonna give it private access. So basically we can only access this inside of our own virtual network. Um, you can also give it public if you want, but we're going to say that nobody on the outside of the world can access this container. You got that, so now we can click it. And then now we can actually upload the file. So think, just think of where we're at now as like your file system. So let's select the file. So we have, um, what is it? Is it? It's not that. What is our what was our file name? What did we have it? Um, we had. Where did we have it? Oh, Azure Course. So now we've uploaded that. Take a sec. All right. So now we've got it uploaded. So now we just we just select it. All right. So now we've got it. All right, so now we can just, uh, to, to execute it, we just run a command, just like a regular uh, shell command. So, so we're just gonna do sh space our file name, which is Azure Shell. Let's do that. So now we should be good. And now let's let's review and create. So now what, what should happen is when this gets, when this VM is fully created, we should see that, that foo.txt file in the in the machine. So let's create that now. All right, so that's created. Let's go to that. So let's let's uh, SSH to the machine. So we've got a public IP address that we can SSH into as. Let's go here, SSH will at that. Yes, and then password. All right, so we're in. So let's see if that file was created. sudo var uh, sudo uh, less boom. So it was. So 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 the food text was created. So it is there. Perfect. So it worked. Um, so you can see kind of what what this you know the extension can do. You can you can literally run any. Um, bash commands that you need, basically, um, which is very helpful to provision your, your servers.